Hello YouTube! Right, I'm doing this like on my Insta story and on YouTube at the same time, so it's a bit disjointed. I told you yesterday I was having something arrive. You know I've been talking about sensitivity to the dust from nails and how it messes with my sinuses really badly. I'm gonna gather myself and move these out and we're gonna going we're going to unbox and have a good look. Okay, so inside that box is the Valentino Beauty Pure box. So here we have what I'm assuming is like the filter. Yes. And the top with the absolutely cool Valentino logo. Peel protective cover off be great. Okay. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's got a setup guide and everything. Right, let me get this out of the box. Okay, hopefully this will give you a better view. So I'm just reading through the easy setup guide, which it comes with. So I've removed, I've removed this, the V plate from the top of the filter, which is this part here. Okay. And then I've got to peel off. Okay, my phone rang, so I was interrupted briefly. Um, I shed a bit of light on the subject. There we are. Okay, so I've taken the protective sticky layer off of the V-plate. It looks like it, it's difficult to get off, but it's not. Just take it from one of the corners, pick it up, and take it off. So it's so shiny. Now, obviously before you use, you need to take the plastic off of the filter. There's loads of instructions as to how to care for your filter, how to get the best out of your um, Valentino dust collector. This is the Gen 4. It's available on Angel Crystals, which is great. And I believe, I will double check with um, Anthony, but I believe that you can use my discount code on this. And I'll put it in the description box with clarification. Because it covers Valentino products too, I will be sure to let you know. And I will have uh, that information will be in the description box as soon as the video is uploaded, so you don't have to wait. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, so I need to pop the filter out. So I'm going to just press the back here, and out pops the filter. Okay, remove. I should do like QVC. Remove the plastic packaging. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then I've got to make sure I put it back in the right way, which I presume is this way. Want to mess it up? Eek. Okay. Here we are, and then this slides over the top like that uh, just hook them in there okay and I believe that is the first bit done okay so I'm reading from the manual the booklet now just so that I make sure I've got all the information for you guys so it says here that it has a variable speed control which it does that's located here all the way around Okay, it clicks to tell you that the power has been initiated to the unit, ping, so you can turn it from high to low. Uh, it's designed so that the client places their hands on the back of the unit, so they'll come over the back and they'll be hanging over the top here so it goes straight down into the filter there. And um, it says here that your product contains a very powerful fan that provides the suction required to remove nail dust. Because of this, you will need to empty the filter after each client. That's understandable. It is recommended that the filter be changed every one to two weeks, depending on use. So obviously, if you're part time, that's going to be different to full time. Uh, to adequately remove nail dust and odours. So to clean the filter after every use, lift the tray by the two tabs here. Okay, slide the V-grate off as we've just done and tap the filter onto a pad to remove nail dust and then reinstall. Do not use any cleaning solvents 
onto the filter because it will not perform correctly. So you just use your side tabs here, slide the grate off as we've done before. Push out the filter and you'll be able to tap it off, okay? And then just slide it back on. They're literally just little hooks here where the side hooks into. Ooh. And then just hook it back in. And place it back in there. That's so shiny. Oh yes. So you can, uh, I'm just looking at cleaning. Uh, it's painted and polished with high quality products with a powder coated finish to clean, use a damp, non-abrasive cloth and gently wipe the surface. So I would suggest something that you would probably use on a glass table. I'll show you what I use. These kind of soft microfiber cloths are really good because you're gonna be able to shine up your V plate here give everything a good wipe it attracts the dust and it's non-abrasive it's super soft so something like that not expensive obviously you've also got your warranty and Valentino do offer accidental insurance cover plans so that would be good um, they also have the flush mount which sits inside your desk but this for me is perfect because at the moment I don't have my desk I have my dining room table so this is going to be awesome. Oh, I'm not going to have time to demo it right now, so I will get back to you probably tomorrow and demo this properly. And um, all the next day, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, and demo this properly because um, I've got a hospital appointment. So I will see you in my next part of my video. Right. So the suction is variable. I'll show you the noise. The noise doesn't get louder as the suction goes up, but the pitch changes slightly. So that's on maximum now. So there really isn't a huge amount of difference, which is great. And you can have it running at low like this all the time if you want and just put some kitchen roll over there and it will help the carbon filter or help it diffuse. You just need to make sure you protect this from any acrylic. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to go and do the chalk test. I've seen Denise do this. You probably watch her channel and I thought that's a really good idea. So I'll switch to voiceover mode and then run through all the bits and bobs that I know on how to use it, how to get the best out of it and we'll give it the chalk test. So let's go. Hello. <laughs> All right, my loves, this is the part where I come back to voiceover and explain to you a couple of little top tips. So when you're using the Valentino Gen 4, this is not a flush mount, so this sits on the table. The Valentino side faces your client and their hands come up and over, so they're over the V-grate there. Now when you are filing your client's nails, don't cup underneath because you're going to catch the dust and it will block the dust collector so hold your hands to the side let it do its thing watch this i was like whoa this this blew my mind look at it just sucking it straight in there even when it goes past the fan the power pulls it back in it was so cool there was a tiny little bit that went over just on the bottom of the grate i just used my brush i'll show you to brush it back in but I, I used a coloured chalk because I wanted to see where it goes. I wanted to be able to see it. Because it's not as easy to see with acrylic, is it? You can be quite deceived when people use a, um, a filing an acrylic nail to show the use of a, a dust collector. So look at that. It just it really just sucks it straight up there. So obviously I didn't need to do any more. We could quite see that I'd now made my brand new filter pink. Um, and then I just put my little brush over the top. Obviously, if you've got huge chunks coming off, which, I mean, you wouldn't normally have, gi hello, Milo, gigantic chunks coming off, but it might be a bit different with huge weighty chunks. Uh, but yeah, look at this. You just take the filter off. There was a tiny weeny bit there on the white. Just brush it to the side. 
you know, from somebody who's not had a dust extractor, I am used to getting it everywhere. Down my top, like up my nose. It's bad. Look at that. Look at all that in there. This is like a new toy. I'm just going to start filing everything. So I'm just going to tap it out and look how much it's collected. Although I am a little bit peed at myself for um, making my brand new filter pink. Yeah. It's not a good look. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what we collected. Uh, you can use my discount code. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. But I am very excited to put this to more use. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about it, put it in the description box below and I will do my best to answer them or find out the answer for you if I don't know. But I'm really hoping this is going to be the start of me having no more snotty noses. Yippee!